the yo-yo diet train because it is now departing the station. Hey fruity cuties, LJ Jackfruit here. So I'm doing a video today about dieting. So dieting seems to be society's answer to losing weight. If you're watching this, you probably have an idea that diets don't work. You need a lifestyle. So I'm going to tell you a bit about my dieting experience. When I was about 27, I decided to go on a diet. I didn't need to lose much weight, but I wanted it gone quickly. And I found this diet with my friend on the internet. It manipulated what I ate in a day. I would type in my food choices out of this list. I was a vegetarian at the time. It would spit out this list that I would follow. And I did for like nine days at a time. I would just eat all of this one food. Hi Susie. It would manipulate my calories somehow and I did. I, I lost weight each time I did it. And it would just isolate like the protein and the carbs. I would just eat like all apples. And then I would eat like a hunk of cheese for my next meal. I ate like four or five times a day. And then I would just eat like a bunch of peanuts. It was, it was really disgusting. And I did this time and time again up until I was about 30. And each time I did it, as long as I stuck to it, it worked. I, I remember one time I lost like seven pounds in nine days. Like what damage was that doing to my body? That can't be good for the long term, you know? And I gained it all back. Oh yeah, I gained it all back and more. At the point when I was 33, it was after a stressful job, I needed to lose 20 pounds to be at the healthy body weight that I desired for my height. And I'm at that now. And I know I'm going to keep losing more because I have a lifestyle. And I finally found that when I was about 33. And within a matter of six months, after just cutting out the sodium and transitioning to a 80-10-10 raw till four lifestyle, I lost about 20 pounds in six months and I've kept it off and I'm losing more as I go. And I'm totally raw now because that seems to be working best for my body. If you're happy on your 80-10-10 cooked lifestyle and that's working for you, then great. You're still vegan, you're still high carb, you're still winning. But the dieting has got to stop. I was on a train to nowhere and I was the first one on, I had the ticket and I wanted a front row seat and I was really religious with this diet every time I needed to lose the weight and I would go back to it. But then it kept getting harder and harder because I was doing more and more metabolic damage to my body. And my body was putting up barriers and walls saying, no, you've messed with me for too long now. And it's just not going to work anymore. You've messed me up and you've got to start treating me right. Or I'm just going to keep ignoring you and do what I want. And it did. I, I remember when I was about 30, I looked in the mirror one day and I was just like, okay, something is just not right. This cooked vegetarian diet just isn't working for me anymore. What's wrong? It was about a year after that when I started making serious changes in my diet. And thank God I did because I have no stress now about maintaining a healthy body weight. So much weight has lifted off my shoulders. I felt like just having a healthy life was a struggle. We shouldn't struggle to have a healthy life. We shouldn't struggle to maintain a healthy body weight, right? Health should be effortless. 
and I was struggling on cooked food. It did start to get better when I went back to being vegan. I was vegan in my mid-20s. I thrived. It was great. It worked for me. I was the fittest I was in my life. I had a six pack. I was running. It was great. And then I got lazy. I got into a relationship with a standard diet eater and I went back to my vegetarian lifestyle. Big mistake all around. So, you know, if you're vegan and you're happy that way, stay true because you're winning. But if something still isn't working on your cooked vegan diet, like it didn't for me when I went back to being vegan, then think about going high carb because high carb is for the win. I eat in abundance now. I eat till I'm satiated and I eat until I'm full. And my body automatically knows that. When I eat cooked food, I was like a bottomless pit. I couldn't feel the density. It didn't register. When I eat raw, my stomach can feel that. It knows when I'm full and it knows when I'm satiated. So get off that yo-yo diet train. You know, I've been there. I know what it's like. You want a quick fix. Well, quick fixes, they don't last. You gain it back and more. And you're wreaking havoc on your body. Ditch the diets. Choose a lifestyle because when you find this lifestyle, the 80-10-10 lifestyle as raw or with some cooks, you thrive and you won't look back. I feel like I'm living my life with passion now. I feel like I'm living my life with purpose. You know, something was holding me back for years when I was struggling with my weight and when I was struggling to stay healthy. I was inhibited. And I had a guard up with my life. I was a bit selfish. I feel like I can give myself now to the people around me and to what I'm doing at the time. And it's just amazing. So get off that train, rip that ticket up, throw it in the garbage. The yo-yo diet train is over. Depart. Don't be a train wreck, okay? Carve up. Thanks for watching. My name's LJ Jackfruit.